their purpose was to sacrifice me because my friend was sacrificed as well. So That's you ex- explain that that process. Okay. Yes. So now when it comes to sacrificing, they just pierce you and then they batonza ikas because the devil cannot do anything with the flesh. That means your friend then her spirit will roam around until her the real death. death. And then the other nails it came through my private part. They said let's take her to the water in the middle of the sea, the sea hut, where the snake, the serpent, uh, 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 Levitian, is sitting. Hey guys, welcome to I've Been Through The Most podcast right here on St. Twins TV. We give the people what What they they want. want. (laughs) Because you guys wanted Bukosi Sono to come back on the show. We made sure that we have her back for a part two because her first episode, Melissa, did incredibly well. It's trending all over social media, but you guys want more because she's so raw. She is so open. She is so honest. And why not have her again? Back, back. Popular <laughs> demand. <laughs> Welcome. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. Um, sure, your story, right? Made the waves, made people talk, made people question. I think more than anything, it's just an awakening of the spiritual realm. Yes. Areas that we were not aware of. Um, the depth of it, the seriousness of it. You literally unpacked all of that. Let mm. me not say all, because there is the more, more to yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. And we ended up the last episode on you getting deliverance in church. Mm-hmm. That you, you got prayed for and physical objects actually came out from your body. body that right? were put in spiritually. spiritually yeah. But yeah. they came out physically. physically. So mm-hmm. in my head, I thought that was done. I thought, oh, she's delivered. She's not doing this yeah. anymore. And that's yeah. it. But you're like, no, it wasn't over. Yeah. Mm. You, there were still struggles to get out from the, 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 the kingdom of darkness. Yes. Um, what happened? Uh, well, firstly, I would like to say thank you to the Holy Spirit again for allowing me Amen. to come because it's His works. Mm. Um, yes, lastly, we spoke about me having to, the object coming out of my body. Mm. So, it did came out, there were so many objects. I spoke about money the last time, mm. that how, 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 how was it operating in the church when it's inside me. I spoke about um, the battery that was a sensor when I'm in that church that we're worshiping in truth and in spirit, then it will sense for me to say, get out because something heavy is coming down. Hmm. I spoke about that. And then I don't know if I spoke about the nails that were one way, just uh, a pillar of the, the, the battery, the sensor. And then four was on my side, three was Mm-mm. on my side. I didn't speak yeah. about no. that. Oh, yes. So I had eight nails right inside me. Four were on my right side, three on my left side, and one was uh, the pillar of um, the, the sensor. Mm. So, uh, sevens are in. It was um, if okay in a church. I'll go to a church, and then the devil will make this one couple to love me so much, hmm. and then I will be sitting there and I'll do anything that the couple will do. You will just love me naturally, but. Uh, that thing it's planned from the kingdom of darkness because caused the divorce among that couple. Oh no! So I will I will carry on with that uh, family until one of of them mm. tell me to visit them at their home. Yo. Mm. So when I'm there. So wait, that means you'd go to the church more than once. Yes. Because mm. you are building a relationship with, with this particular yes. couple. So but why would you target them even if it's in not particular? Remember, it's what the devil, like he will show me, this is who and who and who that I want to see. You understand? Mm. I want to destroy because now the devil see up front to say, mm, these people in level five, mm, they will be having God and my kingdom will be distracted. So now let's destroy this because it's going to, to help people either mm. way, you know? So even if I don't come to church every day, spiritually I'll be dealing with that uh, family until they tell me. It's like your assignment. Yes. That family is her assignment. So I don't leave the couple until I win. Mm. It doesn't matter how long it takes. You'll be there. Exactly. So what happens? You go to the house. So they'll invite me to the house. Oh, okay, so I say eating, normal, watching TV. And then you guys, maybe you go to the uh, bedroom or you will be just sitting there or something that will be sensitive to Ubaba, then you guys will start fighting. Remember, my nails, 
and I'm speaking divorce in that family spiritually. But you can't see me. I'm watching TV. I'm eating. But then the real me, it's working in the family. <clears throat> Up until I hear one of you say, you know what? Because we don't see Then that's where we plant a spirit. Where when you see your husband or your husband sees you, but not this resentment spirit. You know, even if you try or he try, there is nothing that is good that is saying why because there's a spirit in between. How do you put a spirit remember, in the house? Remember when we are not in a right standing with God. I, I said the last time when yeah. I came, when you it's are right gap. with God, the devil cannot face you, but he will use things around, around you, you for you to get discouraged. Then it will be a gap. Remember, if you're not in the right position with God, it's easy for the devil to use you. Yes. You understand? So now, for your fight, there's a spirit involved. And one of you, when Akuluma negative, that's when the spirit get a hold mm. and sit. And Masihlala Endlin, Siahuvara and Endlin, it's leading the house, it's leading the family, it's leading your marriage. And now, as Melanga Sisuge, until there's a divorce that will take place. Even if I go home, maybe he's there for three days in your house, and then I go back home, spiritually, I have to deal with you until Sinbona mm. Wutsin Sekot. Because remember, the devil yeah. wants to destroy whatever divine thing that God has connected. Mm. So were the families that you were successful with in them ending up in, in a divorce? divorce? Yeah, there was families that were, when I did, it was mm. successful, causing divorce. Mm. But there were those that it was not successful. I would try, I would try, I would try, but it was not successful because God would have covered them. So now there is one thing that I always say to Christians when I, I say my testimony to say, God didn't say if we are Christian, no tribulation or anything that mm. will befall us, right? There will be that God will allow. But there will those unkulungulas will say, No, mm -hmm. this can happen. You know, it, I don't wanna preach, but if we can look at Job, <laughs> yeah. what what happened? Ish. You understand, he was a man of integrity, he was faithful to God, but God allowed all those things to, to happen, happen to, to him, him to show that there are times where God will want because he's a God of a show off. He wants to show off his power. You understand? So there are families that, yes, divorces were caused, but there were families that I, I couldn't at all. Mm. Because now one partner would realize, no, 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 we cannot allow the devil to mm. lead us. Let's pray. Mm. And once you pray, there is no devil or any demon that will stand in that family. Because now one of you is sober and realize that mm -mm, something is wrong here. Yeah. We have to pray because and I don't know you like this. fighting spiritually. Exactly. Yeah. Yo, so like sometimes that. you don't even know why you're fighting. Exactly. But you are fighting. fighting. <laughs> you're like, why? It's been, it's been three, five days. We're not talking, but you don't even know why. Okay, let's talk about your specific position or assignment mm -hmm. that you had to do. Because everybody had different things to do, right? Yes, in the kingdom yes. of darkness. And you had... Uh, marriages was one of them that mm -hmm. you had to destroy and you spoke about a few of them but tell us specifically what they were okay so in the kingdom of darkness there are different departments like here we have edgars we have shop right we have this we have that i still so don't get that <laughs> i'm like <laughs> fake world and the yeah but okay so we imitate sure. whatever that is here in this world right so now in that department uh my the spiritual mother that was leading me she was an indian person so I was causing divorces. I was changing people to be lesbian and gays. It, it, it's true, I was doing that. And then I was causing accidents. I was destroying pastors, like destroying the churches. And then I was causing miscarriages. How do you turn people to be okay, gay? Okay, um, I'll be in a church. Remember, I was not working at Botley store. I was not working outside the mm. presence of God. My duty was to destroy the image of God. Mm. because we are fighting with God at that time. So I'll go to a church. There will be these four or three pregnant women that are there. Remember, before I go to that church, maybe it will have taken six months or one year spying the church. Mm. Well, okay, so much time? this woman... <laughs> yeah, it's a lot it's a of lot time. Also, of a pregnant on this day. Okay, we watch her life. How does she go with God? When a person spends in whatever that she do, or sometimes remember, who carry something that the devil wants to destroy, mm. right? 
it's a gift of God. So now we have spy the person maybe for six months. I'm just giving an example mm. or for a year. Now we'll be t- we'll be told that you have to go there. When we go to that church, a usher that is ushering that day would usher me to stand in front of the pregnant lady or behind or just next, uh, to. next to her. Yes. So whether I'm behind or I'm front or next to her, I'll be able to work because remember, it's not me. When we worship, I'll be raising my hands. I'll be worshiping with you, crying. But then the spirit inside me will come out of me, go inside the belly of a pregnant woman and then we plant. There's a demon, a true demon in the kingdom of darkness, gay and a lesbian. They are always giving birth. Now, every second, every minute, they are always giving birth. So now, the demon, if it's a girl, I take that demon of a lesbian. I am so confused. And then take that demon, and then he will enter the womb of a pregnant woman and plant that, that spirit inside. So the spirit that is ila papagati where the womb, I pull me. Ishala nomdana until nine months. Ikula nai. Ikula nai until that ma- nine months. So when the baby comes out, it's a it's a it's a it's a it's a it's a girl. It's a girl, mm. yeah. Um, to ana masaga kula to one year, two years. That's when I, Lorna, it's fine. Taking any more, don't any more Because now the spirit inside her, it's 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 an opposite gender, to what she is. You understand? And then parents will take it light. No, Lord, turn the motto. As I'm saying, any motto. I Lord turn the in. Go in to unta na umfana. Lord turn the impopi. I'm again unto ana. So you know? if it's a boy, you plant a spirit here, yeah, a lady, so that they feel like they're a lady, but they actually. That's why when yeah. they grow now, how does it become activated when I am older? Mm-hmm. There are human demons that ascend the side. They look exactly like me and you. You will pass here in the street and someone will stop you and say, I want to ask directions. Where is show bright? Where is what and what and what? And that person is looking straight in your eyes. So there will be an exchange. Remember, Ah. you are having a demon from your early years from inside, right? So now it has come a time where the demon inside you that you have grown with, it must be activated for you to say, you know, I feel like I'm trapped in a human body or I feel like I'm trapped so, in a body. So, but they need eye connection. Like, they yes. need that eye to eye. Yes. Then so it's there, activate. but just needs to be activated. Yes. So, a human demon that's been here on earth or that's on earth mm-hmm. will have to make contact yes. with that person. Like, randomly, yes. like, okay. Oh, wow, your dress looks so beautiful. Yeah, thank you. Obviously, we won't just say thank you and passing. You know, thank you. And maybe I will ask you a direction. And then there will be that exchange towards you and that person. Oh, Jesus. Help us, Lord. So, that's how the devil has trapped they believe and also their parents believe it's true. Because yes, the, spirit the spirit was, was inside. There. Do you understand? Some of the people, you don't need me to go to a church. But the devil just send his spirits. It's like, I'm an eros azayo to the, the dark world, to the world. And wherever Ezo fell a corner, corner for the pregnant women. The one thing that I ask myself is that, what victory then does the devil get? When when there are those miscarriages, when there are those divorces, like is mm. what is it? Is it like a celebration, remember, it's a satisfaction. Uh, remember that. A, then what? Remember the devil was thrown into the earth, right? Into this earth, and now his purpose of us uh, to work for him or destroying us is to hurt God. We have nothing to do with their fight, but he is using us to fight God. So mm. anything that he does, whether he gains mm. anything or not, I is see. to hurt God. God's people. Do you mm. understand? Because mm. remember, when you hurt me, you are hurting God. Mm-hmm. So yeah, now he knows what his time is up. Even if he can repent, there is no it's way. Over. It's over. You understand? So now he, c- I can't bend alone. I must show him that also his image, Uzum Chigela Vele, Isemens or whatever that I'm doing. So mm. it's just that, to hurt God, nothing more. He does not gain anything. Yo. Jeez. Let's go back to your deliverance. deliverance yeah. Yes. So you got prayed for and we thought, you know, oh wow, you know, she's she's going to go to church and it's over. She's delivered. She's not going back to that dark side. Mm. But it was a process. Yeah. So you said they came back to faith even after those objects were removed from mm. your body. Mm. Even after the prayer, mm. you you were still fetched for mm. months. Mm. Who fetched you? Uh, the people that I was working with. 
they fetch me remember i spoke about being a devil worshiper it's you you come out of your body you come back again mm. because you are it's like me having to go to work clock and then i come back again mm. but then i don't get time to sit with my family so now during the process of deliverance because the object didn't come out like one day it mm. will like they will pray for me today it will come out sometimes they pray for me nothing will come out it will be just demons that will be speaking and whatnot you see so uh, during the process, maybe money will come out when I go home. I will feel they are here and I will scream, Mama, they are here. And then she will say, Pray. Sometimes she's not there, she's at work. You so see? when you say they, is it more than one person? Yes, because they come. It's not one person. The devil will never send one person to come and fetch you. Okay, so they come in through the door? Everywhere, whether walls. They just walk, walk and you like, just, there they are. They just budge in and come and you will see. And the time when they are coming, I will hear by my hair, like, oh, okay. Like they you are have here. a feel. Like yes, ish. they are here. You know, there is something that is happening in this room. And, and because I was have a fool, it's different now to there, to yes. before. Yes. And remember, at that time, I'm told that when they come, I must call the name of Jesus. Yes. When they come, I must call the blood of Jesus. Sometimes I'm caught, like, I want to call it, but they're already here. And then they'll take me, they'll go punish me, hit me. And they are, they are purpose was to sacrifice me because my friend was sacrificed as well. What do you ex explain that, that process? Okay, sacrifice, okay. Okay. When they come, okay, when they sacrifice a person, for instance, like me, I expose the devil and now I was depending on the prayers of my family, the mm. pastor, because at that time I can't pray for myself. I still have these things in me, mm. so there is no prayer in me. In fact, my is fun with Jesus. I can't because mm. I'm living with demons inside me. Mm. So now, during the process, the devil will be taking you, going to the kingdom, punishing you, coming like back. physically beating you. Do you have physical scars? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. From them punishing mm. you. See. So they would wow. beat you up. Yes. So take you to just go and beat you up. Yeah. Where? In the kingdom of darkness. The other world. The other world. Mm. You see. So now when it comes to sacrificing, they just pierce you and then they batonza ikas because the devil cannot do anything with the flesh. He just needs the blood. Because it is Luan Opilan ikas. And then physically this side your body, maybe, demon. Remember, when I come out, there must be a demon that is occupying Occupy my space. Mm. 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 But then the only your thing, I cannot sit with them because a demon with a human being cannot have conversation one on one. It's a demon that is trained to say hi, goodbye, good night. The basic thing. The basics. It's like a robot. You see? Yes. Mm. But mm. it's you. Yes. Yeah. You see, so now the demon will be inside my body and I will be killed that side. Because remember my spirit, when it leaves the body, the body is dead. Mm. Right? So my spirit will be lingering around in the kingdom of darkness. If it's not my time yet to die yeah, in on this earth. world. Right? So now, what happens to the demon inside my body? Yes. Fine. We'll create a sickness. to we'll say, Ish, I have a headache or I have short breath. I have what, I have what, then that demon will left will leave your body. And when it leaves your body, your body if I dead. Body dies. So mm. that means then 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 after they kill you or sacrifice you as mm -hmm. you say it in the kingdom of darkness, on earth that means then the time is Iba limited. Because so now they have to try to get rid of you because there's not much you can do because it's not the real you. Yeah. So then then a sickness. Oh, so the real you is dead now. Not, not when after they sacrifice. No, it remember, roams around, but it can't come back to your body. Remember, Bukosi is not the body that you're seeing. Bukosi it's is spirit. inside. Yeah. It's the spirit who is talking. So it's roaming so now, because they've sacrificed Exactly. Her. If the devil has captured my spirit, and inside this body, it, it has a demon inside, that demon must go back to Mm. His world of which means world. the body mm. won't have anyone to and occupy then it. You call the ambulance and everything, they will declare the body dead because there is no spirit here inside your body. And then you guys will bury this body, but my spirit will be lingering. Hence, the last time I said, mm. people that will say, they are actually speaking the truth because those spirits are not resting. 
Do you understand? They are not resting. But when the time of that person to die, and where is the time of repentance there? If I sure. have died as a devil There's worshiper, no time. There is no time. So how do you know your friend was sacrificed? I was there when they sacrificed them. Is it like a punishment? Yeah, the it's ultimate a punishment, punishment to say you didn't do what we sent you to do. Yes. So now mm. everybody else must be scared to say you're gonna be sacrificed. Yes. And also mm. to go out and expose the devil, but you don't have pillars that are praying for you. Mm. That's why I said the last time it's very much important if you have mm. a child that it's in this process of deliverance or is a devil worship or mm. satanist or anything mm. that you can call it. We need to be a supporting structure, more especially a family. Because the pastor, you see a pastor for just a few minutes, yeah. right? Yeah. And then you go home. So what happened then at what? home? Yeah. Is there prayer at home? No, mm. there is no prayer. I think that's no when I understood this thing of standing in the gap for someone. Thank you. When you're praying, and I also understood like intercession. Mm -hmm. the intercessors actually pray and they cover a certain gap in the spirit that you sometimes don't even know you, you needed even those cover. prayers. Yes, mm. you didn't know that you were not in that car accident because some intercessors were praying for for, for the road and say, True. anyone in my for family that's living today, any, you yes. know, all those prayers, they actually mm. matter mm. when you can't pray for yourself. Mm. So then what happened to your sure. friend on earth? Then we buried her. So she fell sick. Yeah, she fell sick. Yeah, She had a headache, migraine, and then she so, but gone. you knew exactly I what's knew happening. What exactly was happening? And you can't say anything. And I can't say anything. And a friend from, I grew up with her, went mm. to school with her, mm. and even when we have to go out when we are in class, there will be in le baby zan. This thing Oh, like the lizards. A lizard yeah. will come, is a slander, and then will fall the same time in class. But people won't understand wouldn't understand what so was the happening. lizard would be from the spirit of darkness yes, come coming you to guys to go and us. work yes so when you guys in, faint in flight in school we'll just faint and then demons will come the one that was trained me would come and occupy my body and then i'll just sit at class oh so after you faint when you wake up it's not you anymore no you left i, I left and then the demon Usala, will hello up. bye bye yes wow <laughs> hey hectic <sighs> hectic mm. So, so that means your friend then, her spirit will roam around until her real death, death has comes. To come. So she's like punished. She can't be on earth. She can't do anything. She can just figure her it out. Her spirit is just lingering mm. around mm. the world mm. because the body we have buried. The mm. body we have buried. So people have to understand that the spiritual world exists. And sometimes our prayers will be, Lord, people will see the traffic mm. above of oh what is goodness. happening. That's why I like what you said to say, intercessors, they cover a certain part. Mm. And it's very much important for me to call a name of a person that I'm, I'm, I'm praying, He's praying for. Yes. So the devil will know that I'm declaring this. Don't to touch this, this one. Exactly. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Okay. So the deliverance process, so that mm. people can know, mm. maybe you know someone who was who is demon possessed or is a devil worshiper mm. or in a cult however how long did your complete mm -hmm. deliverance take it took three years and a half year three yeah. or six months for me to be completely completely delivered so it that's was a long a time journey. it was a journey it was a fight and a struggle it was a journey because at that time i had to leave school and stay home why? Because I couldn't concentrate at school. I'll be at school. They're here to fetch me and all Yeesh. that. In an in a, in a extent where when my mother goes to work, she'll have to go with me and sit with me in her office. Because if she's alone, it's an opportunity. Because she has no one to, to be... But can't you tell pray. them, leave me alone? You can't. Remember, I still have their object. So even if I say, Which leave object? me... Uh, uh, I have demons. I still have the How did they all come out okay. eventually? Uh, the battery, I vomited the battery and the nail that was, was here inside me. And then the other nails, it came through my private part. So how nails. did you vomit? Were they praying for you when you vomited yeah, they were, the battery? Yeah, they were praying for me. I was at church. Mm -hmm. the, the very same church that my mom was uh, chased mm -hmm. out because of me is the very same church that she's submitting <laughs> under today <laughs> and then god said to her go back to, yeah, to go the back. very yeah. same woman of god that I your because daughter. this was me because i wanted this deliverance to be complete yes. you understand so now because i want to finish it go back to the very same woman mm. 
and mm. I went back there. By God's presence or God's power, the woman of God saw me and then she was like, because you are here, come, come. here. Mm. You see, and then when she lays her hand in me, I feel this heat. And then from there, I didn't know what happened, but I could see that, no, I'm vomiting. I will open, I will, I will, I will, I will uh, uh, take off my trouser, and then I will push like I'm in labor. When my mom try and want to touch the nail and afun gui pula, inga pulegi because now the spirit of God is in place, is taking place. Yes. You understand? So seven nails. Was it nails, painful? It was because so I would push as if I'm. So each needle comes out in yes. its own time. One like my, my maybe a day three will come out. Stones will come out. Two stones will come out that I spoke about the first time when yes. I came that has closed my womb. And the, and the battery and, and the nail that comes out that you vomited. I vomited. The painful. one that was here, I mm. vomited. And the battery, the worm and the snake that I spoke about, yes. I vomited in the toilet. What happens and to those objects after they come out? They burn it. Mm. They burn it. But mm. then, because they have visualized the, 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 the object. So sometimes I'll go back and see, wow, God. Sure, you've saved yeah. me. Yeah. So after what? you vomited and, sorry, Sissy. So mm. after you vomited, mm. all those things came out and then you were fine. After they all came out, oh, it was still a process. I was fine, but I was not 100% fine. Okay. Mm. Because the object were coming out, but still there was some spirit that occupied mm. me. So you knew yes. that it's not done yet. Yes. So you would probably vocalize this to, yes. to your mom, who's yes. a pastor. Yes. And um, tell them that they're not done or yes. it's not done yet. Yes. And well, the spirit of God will reveal to her to say, oh, kuna la nyulin. Oh, mm, they are mm. gupi gupi. Oh, they were this gupi gupi. Because Three remember, I have made a covenant with my blood. So having to break that, it needs God. So all my blood bloodline, it's mm. possessed. So now it needs God to work to on me it, yeah. again. And you can feel you it. See? You can feel which it's still there. Yes, you feel a relief because some of the things yes. are out, but it's still there. Mm -hmm. And and also there's that thing you're I'm still gonna get punished. But the fact that these objects came out, they are coming back. And I'm talking as well. You are, you are this exposing is what happened them. even yes. yesterday. This is what happened yesterday. And the devil said, Oh, okay. Pele, you're not completely delivered. So I'm still gonna get time to come and take you and punish you. And punish you. Up until you surrender to me. And were you not scared that you're going to get sacrificed and you're not going to come back and your mother will have to bury you You know, I was scared, but I had the assurance to say, I am, they are praying for me. Mm. They are praying for me. You know, my mother, every day, every night, she'll call us, let's make a chain. Let's pray. Let's make a chain. And I would feel so comfortable and so safe because I know if she's praying for me, I know even if I don't pray, I have the covering. Yeah. You understand? Unlike me having You knew to say, that weapon, Yo, Jay. Uh, yes. It's more powerful you know, than anything they And have. by that yeah. time, she was not yet a pastor. She was still attending church. Mm. She was still attending church. But she, was she not knew yet, how to say But you. she knew how to pray. Mm. Because she was one person, when she is told to do something, she would do it with all of her heart. So I believe the Spirit of God trusted her yes. with this uh, 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 situation that she was in. Because many pastors failed. Many, mm. Not that they failed, but mm. God didn't want them to be in the process. Mm. But she must be because God was preparing her for a ministry. And I need to say, being a deliverance person or pastor is not easy. It's mm. not easy. And mm. it's not anyone who can do deliverance. Yes. And three Hence, years, this took see? three years. Can you imagine three after one year, they're like, we are tired of paying for this one. Yes. <laughs> like, yeah. yo. Yes. Okay, before we close, when you finally got delivered, mm -hmm. How did that feel like mm. when those last set of demons mm -hmm. left your and you body? Knew, and nobody mm. Where were you? Me. What happened? And how did you know that it's gone? They are gone. They are all out. Um, I was at church in El Shaddai uh, under the leadership of Pastor Sophie Mladi. So when I was there, worshippers were worshipping in truth and in spirit. And I would feel I'm enjoying this. But at the same time, I have this thing inside me that is fighting to say, no, man. It, like, I want to scream because I'm feeling like yeah. things that are not normal. But I knew in my heart that they said to me, when this thing come, you must believe in God and you must call the blood of Jesus yes. inside you. That day, she didn't preach. She just said, oh, because it's here. And then she called me and then she hugged me. And then when she lay her hand and then I fell. When I fell, I like... It's like they came and took me 
instead of me rolling and burning the spirit and all that, they came and took me. And then when they took me, oh. I saw myself, the, the, the people that I'm working for, Okay. With okay. The kingdom yeah. of darkness. So I saw myself there in the kingdom of darkness. Now, with my spiritual mother, by then leading the people, went to the department. There was a, a something like a cross that was prepared for me to say, "Today is the day." She's getting sacrificed. You know, she's getting sacrificed. And so it was like your funeral almost. Yeah, and I was so scared that day. Sure. I was so scared. So when I'm sitting down. Because the kingdom of darkness is like a building. It's a human being, a building. We have building like this, you know. But then the kingdom, it's like a human being, what the do you building. Mean? What do you mean it, a human it, being? The form it's of a building. It's got hands it's and like feet and a face. Like a human but being. But it's a building. Yeah, exactly. So I was sitting there. I remember I was sitting down there. And then on top of the window, I hear a voice saying, start to sing, Jesus, what a wonder you are. You know, I started to sing that song. Jesus, what I wonder you are. You shine uh, like a bright morning star. And I felt like people were joining me. Mm. You know, when I felt like that, I felt the power now to say, no, I'm, I'm encouraged now to do that. They are busy preparing mm. for mm. me mm. to be pierced and so they can take And the you blood. said there was a cross. Yes, they prepared a cross because that's where they hang you. Remember, the devil imitate anything that Christ or sure. God does. That's why it's called sacrifice. Exactly. You understand? Yeah. So now I'm singing that song. They came, they tried to want to pick me up. You know God, I love God. And then God made me to raise. Yeah. When they took my leg, they picked my leg. They God made it. me to raise. They, they call each other. There were so many. When they tried to pick me up, I, they couldn't even lift me up from where I was sitting. So your body doubled mm. and tripled in yes, size. Yes, I was, I was, yes. So they couldn't carry you. It's like you. I would explode, explode. They couldn't carry me. Now the, 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 the mother, in the mother, uh, spiritual mother. The, your Indian mother. Yes, the yeah. Indian one. Yes. And then suggested, you know, let's go to the water. Because that's the second sacrifice where they use. If they can't sacrifice you in they the try building. try second option. They try second option. They say, let's take her to the water in the middle of the sea. The sea hut where the snake, the serpent, uh, 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 Levitian, is sitting. We go once in a year to go and see it when we were in a planning of a year. In conference. Yes, and then he would tell us what to do. The snake? The is snake. it a big snake? It's a big snake. In the middle and of an ocean? Yes. It does not move. It stays there. So now they have to take me there. What happens there? There was a stone that was put there and I was put it on the stone. I sit it there. The very same voice came again, began to sing the song. I sang the song. When I look up, I saw a half moon and a little star on top of the half moon. And then the Spirit of God said, begin to sing. You know, it feels like they were, it's a choir. That is breaking me up. I will sing mm -hmm. that song. Now, the, the mother that was, was, was leading me, the spiritual mother, mm. took a sword, something like a sword. Then she wanted to pierce me. But a light came out of my belly mm. and pushed that, the, uh, sword. Uh, uh, the sword. I, I, did, I didn't know where she went, but I could see where, wherever she's going is very far. So the people remaining, they said, no, let's take her out, uh, to the, back to the kingdom of darkness because we can't kill her here. Hmm. Yeah. Mm. You understand? Mm. Mm. When they mm. took mm. me back mm. there. And you are busy, Jesus, what a wonder. Yes, I'm, I'm singing because Jesus, now there's this voice that's telling me that Keep minister this song. Mm. So when they took me back there, there was a big light that has flesh from up and then it flesh her from down. Then I could say, oh, this is a tar road. Oh, this is a door. Oh, this is... Because now when you are there... Your mind even closed up. You can't mm. see a way because remember you yeah. all the time. Mm. Go back and all that. But that day, I saw that light leading me to say stand up because mm. I was chained. The chains just broken like that. And then I, I stood and the voice said run. And when you are running, confess the weight. Mm. Say this. I'm more than a conqueror. Say this. Say that. Say I'm running at that time. When I ran, there was a place where I saw Ikari, it's a waterfall. Then I stood there, and then the devil said, water kills. Now I have to be discouraged now. Mm. And then the very same voice that would tell me that I must run, it says, no, confess the word and jump into that water. You then you go are going back to your boat, and you will never come again back. come back here. But now it was a struggle for me. 
I started to confess the word. And when I jumped in... Of course, the in, devil is trying to put fear in you. Like Exactly. It's a trap, you can't, but, yeah. you, but there's, a, there's a, a voice again of God saying, go. Exactly. Mm. But they know it's good for you yes, to go. Yes, you can't jump to... in there. You can't jump in here. When I jumped... Meanwhile, Sissy, her body is in the church, ne? fainted. Yes. Mm. They it, don't it, know it, the movie that's happening. They don't know the move, <laughs> but what they said was, my body was just moving as mm. if I was running. And now God was showing them that the process were taking place. Oh, come on and you now. know when I, I, I jump into the water, I the way I've walked up, ne, it feels like a force. Mm. And the very the first person I wanted to see, where is my mom? Mm. Because now I could see her crying, but I couldn't help her because now mm. whatever I'm doing was hurting her. You know, sometimes she will be mm. there at the at, at her bedroom asking God, until when? When is this child mm. going to be delivered? You know, and sometimes I will be sitting there in the kingdom of darkness and say, I want to get out of this, but I can't. But because of her prayers and her not giving up on me with my sister, you know, praying for me, my dad was was the best as well. Because there was an extent where my mom would say, you know what, let her pack her bags and leave. Because I feel I can't take much. this anymore. Mm-hmm. But my dad said no. Because my when own. she goes out, she will die. So then you come back to the body. You get to into the body. water and yes. it's just like boom. Yes. And then I was at church. Where am I? Where is my mom? And you knew I'm How out. Did that feel like? I made it. Yo, I felt so light. So you, you know? never went back again from that day till now. Jesus, what a you wonder. You know what? You are. That's, <laughs> that's why every time when I have to to do something wrong, I will say, because remember where you come mm. from. No human being had to save you, but Mm-mm. God Himself. God saved yeah. you. You understand where God uh, sent the doctors of heaven to come and do operation in me mm. of the object that mm. were put spiritual mm. and they come out physically. Then I saw God was was wonderful. So, so manje people who are now doing what you used to do. Yes. Do they approach you and ask you help me? They do. You know, I'm 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 oh, getting awesome. numbers of calls. Mm. People are are crying to say. We want your God. We want your God because we are tired. In extent where people want to kill themselves mm-hmm. and say there is hope in Christ. And unfortunately, don't come up with a mind of saying, I want to try here because we've mm. been trying. But come with a mind to say, Lord, I, I am done. Mm. And I want deliverance. Because saving God, is, it's, so, it's so beautiful. You don't have to, you don't struggle, man. You, <laughs> you, you don't feel it's any nice. pain. It's nice. it's nice. You know, it's a good feeling. Wow. I want to, we're going to close the show now, but wow. I want to just <laughs> thank you. I want to really, really thank you and yes. appreciate you. Um, mm. For saving so many souls. Amen. And yeah. thank you for telling the truth. Amen. Thank you for choosing God. Thank you for being you and allowing Amen. him to use you. I wish you could sing the song for us, Sissy. <laughs> Don't you have a minute? Knows how to sing. Yeah, you must yeah. sing that song for us. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to sing it for us? Yes. Okay, thank please. You. please. <laughs> so I would say, Jesus. What a wonder you are, you are so gentle, so pure and so kind. And so I'm getting emotional. You who shine like a bright morning star. Jesus, what a wonder you are. Oh, he's so wonderful. <laughs> oh, he's How so wonderful. Beautiful. Yo, <laughs> what wow. a way. Just redefines what worship is, right? Yeah. And, oh, and the Jesus. power thereof, because sometimes we just sing. We just yeah. say words. Mm. Um, so but that's power. the power of praise and worship. Amen. Yeah, thank you to our guest. Thank, thank you, you um, at home for watching and uh, for sharing, for subscribing, for liking, for being Kingdom Ambassadors. We appreciate and we love you. Amen. Yes, and thank you for coming 
once again this <laughs> was such a beautiful episode and i'm sure all the questions are answered we're still gonna put her email address though yes because i know there's her. still going to be questions <laughs> call her and book her and pay her for it. <laughs> thank you <laughs> <laughs> that's all we have for you right here on saint twins tv on the i've been through the most podcast for myself millicent and myself innocent and our lovely guest <laughs> 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 Bye. Bye. <laughs>